Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can assign materials in Rhino. Uh, so if you go to the layers, you see there is a material tab next to each of the layers. Uh, I want to go to the yard. Uh, we have one item for the landscape and one for the soil. I'm going to go to the soil one, uh, which is going to be that part over there. And I'm going to go to material. Click here. It's going to take you to the material tab. Uh, next, I want to actually go here. I want to go to use a new material. There are some options here, but uh, how about I go to import from material library. And uh, we do have some options here. I can go to like organic. Uh, I can go to like grass or mulch. I'm going to go with one of these options how about mulch dark red. Uh, Okay, so this is good. That looks good over there. I'm going to just say OK. And now you see that the rendered material is different. So this was the soil layer. Uh, I can also take care of this part. I want to go to this landscape tab. I want to assign some material here. Uh, let's go to use a new material. Import from library. Uh, I want to go to the architecture folder. A wall. Uh, maybe stone and I want to use the stack the stone that's good okay next I want to assign a material to the yard layer uh, so it's going to be actually over there because the sub layers have different materials uh, I want to go to material uh, I want to go to use a new material import from material library uh, I want to go to architectural floor ceramics and we have uh, mosaic here uh, now if you think this is like too dark or something there are different things you can do for instance we can go here uh, you see that the color is reading from here right so that means if I change the color from here color picker okay uh, this is not gonna affect that yet uh, because it's reading the color from that image right but if I change this to like 80% now it's gonna be a mixture of that color over there and the color of that image right I can go here how about I go with like either CMYK or RGB I want to move all these to white okay so now that's a white color okay if I change this to like 70 percent it should be a bit whiter as you see because it's also uh, combining with that white color right so I want to go with like 50 percent and that seems good or you can just go to the image and change the color of that image okay Uh, next, I want to assign some glass material to that greenhouse area. So let's go to this layer. Use a new material. Uh, actually, we do have glass here. Uh, or I can just search for more glasses from the library. We have frosted options. I want to go with this last one here. That should be good. Okay, now you see that we can see uh, kind of the area behind it because now it's transparent. Uh, we can keep going, assign materials to doors and windows. I can go to the window, click here. Uh, next, I want to go to my window frame. Uh, let's go to use a new material, import from library. I want to go to paint matte and I want to go with this color uh, and you can change the color picker if you want you can go here uh, you can change this to wheel and you can go with a darker color so that was assigned to the frames okay uh, how about I assign the same color to the frames of the door so door frame I want to go here and select this material 
okay uh, next for the windows window panels I can just assign the same glass that we had or the door I can go here door panel go to the material library and I want to go with the uh, different color this one may be okay and that's assigned over there uh, if I switch to the other camera now you see that it's kind of getting better over there too uh, we can assign some material to the wall as well wall 3d uh, I want to go to the wall 3d assign material uh, for now I'm just gonna keep it simple uh, I'm gonna go to paint and I want to go with more like a white material we can of course change it later uh, so we can keep going we need to add some objects uh, more materials and everything uh, but just to see how the render works you can just go here the first option under the render tools is render so we can go to the render menu and uh, actually it's just gonna start rendering this is the render it took one minute and a half uh, you can go to tone mapping here and uh, we can work with black and white points so basically this part is responsible for the black parts of the image uh, and this part on this on the right side is responsible for the white parts of the image right so uh, if I move this like to a value around zero maybe it's now too dark here so if I move this to the left it's gonna be a bit lighter and if I move this to right and left it's gonna control uh, kind of the white areas uh, if we change camo to one and a half it's gonna kind of adjust between the white and the darker areas okay and I want to have this a little bit darker here okay so now this seems like a good contrast of course it needs working and everything you can save this render from save image as uh, from this icon uh, and you can save it as uh, JPG or you can go with uh, PNG bitmap and so on now this is just a test render we're gonna keep working on that uh, but if you want to change the size of the render uh, we should close this window and we need to go to the file properties uh, the size of the render actually comes from here resolution and quality now it's set on 935 by 618 uh, if by the end you want to go with a higher resolution you can go with different values but I'm going to suggest that for the test renders uh, we can keep it on a low resolution such as this one 